Failure to follow installation instructions and not using the provided hardware may damage the intake tube, throttle body, and engine. Tools needed to install kit number 69-2004TTK include a flat blade screwdriver, a ratchet, an extension, 10 millimeter socket, four millimeter Allen wrench, and a T27 and T25 Torx screwdriver. To start, turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Disconnect the crankcase vent hose from the intake tube. Loosen the two hose clamps which secure the intake tube to the turbo inlet and air box. Remove the stock intake tube from the vehicle. Loosen the four screws that secure the upper air box to the lower air box, then remove the upper air box and air filter from the vehicle. Remove the two screws which secure the mass air sensor to the upper air box, and then remove the mass air sensor from the vehicle. Remove the O-ring gasket from the mass air sensor. Install the mass air sensor into the heat shield and secure with the provided hardware. Note, be sure to install the button head bolts from the inside of the heat shield out. Install the K&N air filter onto the mass air sensor inside the heat shield and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the provided silicone hose, part number 08440, onto the mass air sensor and secure with the provided hose clamp. Remove two of the upper air box mounting screws from the upper air box. Install the heat shield assembly onto the lower air box. Secure the heat shield assembly to the lower air box with the two screws removed from the upper air box. Install the silicone hose part number 08484 onto the turbo inlet and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the k &N intake tube into the silicone hose on the turbo inlet and mass air sensor and then secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the crankcase vent hose into the silicone hose at the turbo inlet and secure with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting your vehicle. So remember to review the instruction sheet to make sure all steps were followed. It will be necessary for all K&N Performance Air Intake Kits to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. After 100 miles of driving, check the nuts and bolts in your air intake performance system and re-tighten them if necessary. Failure to follow these instructions or proper maintenance may void your warranty.